In this episode, we will be playing a game. Welcome to the game of prime numbers. Some deceit among the physics community was discovered in the first episode. Yes, just three. While other falsehoods are connected to these three. If you speak a lie once, you can keep lying till no one notices. This is exactly what has been happening in the physics community. And in this episode, we'll be exposing even more lies. In this episode, we will discuss prime numbers. What are prime numbers and how do prime numbers relate to physics is a valid question. According to this research article, there is a concept known as the physics of numbers. Mathematics is the language of the universe. Prime numbers tend to be associated with physics by forming an important value in physics. During the first episode, it was revealed that the universe's originator value is 3.125. This originator value may hold information regarding the genesis of prime numbers. For a long time, nobody knew where prime numbers came from. Exceptional numbers that can only be divided by one and itself are known as prime numbers. These are not your average integers. Scientific consensus holds that solving one of the greatest unresolved mathematical problem, a demonstration of the Riemann hypothesis, would have far-reaching consequences for our knowledge of prime numbers distribution. So far, this episode has only contained one falsehood and it is the Riemann hypothesis. The practice of scientists tying a useless hypothesis to an unresolved issue is pervasive. No Riemann hypothesis can explain where prime numbers come from or how they are distributed even after a billion years from now. So don't fall for it because the root of both the pi value and prime numbers is the same the scientific community's falsehoods regarding the pi value's genesis have prevented them from ever understanding where prime numbers come from and how they are distributed. Truths cannot be formed from falsehoods. This second misconception about prime numbers is propagated by mathematicians. Prime numbers can only be divided by one and itself. The result of dividing three by one is three, which is correct. You're correct in thinking that the result of dividing one by one is one. In addition to itself, one is divisible by one. If one validates a prime number, then why isn't one a prime number in and of itself? When you look for prime numbers online, the first set of results will be the zodiac numbers 2, 3, and 5, with the exception of one, which is not there because someone, a mathematician, lied about it. The root of the pi value are the four zodiac numbers, which are the first four prime numbers. As a mathematical constant, pi is based on the first four prime numbers, one, two, three, and five, meaning that prime numbers will be revealed naturally by these zodiac numbers. Going back to the first episode's symbolic teachings about the four zodiac numbers, we can see that lines intersect, which means that one is linked to five, and two is linked to three, which makes you count circumferentially as three, one, two, five. As a result, we construct columns for these four zodiac numbers by arranging numbers accordingly. Because of the fact that four naturally falls in the middle of the zodiac numbers in numerical order, an additional column, which is a sixth column, will be necessary to achieve balance. Make note of this. Apart from the root numbers 1, 2, 3, and 5, 
All other prime numbers can be found in columns 1 and 5 of the zodiac. To verify this, you can get a different list of prime numbers from Google and try to find them in this arrangement of zodiac columns. Prime numbers, like the four zodiac numbers, are typically seen in a specific four-column arrangement, known as the root columns. With the exception of the prime numbers 2 and 3, which are located in columns 2 and 3, respectively, as itself. You can find the rest of the prime numbers in the zodiac's first and fifth columns. Prince Jesse discovered the origin and distribution of prime numbers from the numbers arrangement in zodiac columns, but we still have to play the game of prime numbers. Our focus is on column 1 and 5. If you observe column 1 and 5, you'll see that there are a pattern present in the last digits. In column 1 and 5, it is a pattern of 1, 7, 3, 9, 5. And repeat. Observe carefully. Remember, the last zodiac number is 5 and it's the most strongest among the four. All prime numbers usually end with either 1, 7, 3, or 9. Hence the constant pattern in column 1 and 5. 5 automatically shows us the trick. Yes, 99% of prime numbers exist in column 1 and 5, but multiples of primes are also present. The game of prime numbers is that the numbers are similar ending with similar digits in order to confuse you on which numbers are prime and the ones that isn't prime, but it for sure gives you an opportunity to try. At first, any number you select from the first to fourth row of columns, 1 and 5 will be prime because the game is still welcoming you. Both columns are connected, hence a prime will have multiples present in both columns. So, as you progress, you need to cancel out these multiples in order to identify a prime without downloading an external list of prime numbers from the Internet. Finally, a multiple of a prime will appear exactly the number of steps from the prime itself. For example, if 7 is a prime, multiples of 7 will appear every 7 steps from 7 on its column. Let's begin. 1 multiplies itself to give itself. So we proceed to 7. Pick 7. Mark 7 green. Count all 7 steps from 7 and mark them red. The first 7 steps when counting will be 13, 19, 25, 31, 37, 43, and the 7th will be a multiple of 7 which is 49. Hence 49 won't be a prime, we mark red. There's also what Prince Jesse described as cross-counting. Because both columns are connected, you also need to count seven steps on the other column, which is column five. Also, because the number seven doesn't originally belong to column five, you have to count backwards from seven in column one onto column five and continue. For example, doing cross-counting from seven, you count backwards as in one, five, 11, 17, 23, 29th and 7th step will be a multiple of 7 which is 35, mark 35 red. So, this is how to play the game of prime numbers. 13 is the next number, mark 13 green which means you're doing 13 steps to get each of the multiples, which you'll be marking red on both columns. The aim of the game is to sieve out the multiples of prime from the actual prime numbers. So, any number you mark red can't be picked for counting because it is now void. Ensure you count numbers for both columns to get their steps on both columns also. As you do this while going down the columns, you'll observe that each prime number will sieve out itself. Fortunately, we have computers that can do this very fast using programs by telling it to sieve out the prime numbers in column 1 and 5, but without advanced technologies some years back, this is how they would sieve out prime numbers as an everyday fun game if this theory was discovered then. Finally, to prove to you that both columns are connected, take out the multiples of 5 on both column 1 and 5, for example. That is 5, 25, 35, 55, 65, 
and then you divided them by 5 accordingly. You'll see that you'll start getting all the numbers from both column 1 and 5 as they are accordingly. And this isn't magic. It's the effect of the truth replacing a lie. And that's the originator of the universe in action. Make sure to subscribe and watch the next episode to find out more falsehoods. Download Prince Jesse's scientific publications from the link below to read more about his discoveries or by the use of Google. To help spread the gospel, we ask that you like, comment, and share this post. To see more videos like this and to see more lies revealed in the next episode, subscribe now. Thank you, I appreciate you taking the time to watch.